We're entering an era in which our enemies can make it look like anyone is saying anything at any point in time. How about this? Simply, President Trump is a total and complete dipshit. In 2018, BuzzFeed partnered with award-winning filmmaker Jordan Peele to shed light on a new technology in the era of fake news. Moving forward, we need to be more vigilant with what we trust from the internet. It's called a deep fake, and this same video was used by Professor Christian Vaccari and his colleague Andrew Chadwick, both from Lowborough University in England, for research on how the technology threatens democracy. Uh, this was the time when um, while people were still taking stock of what happened in 2016, uh, the technology for producing deep fakes uh, became available uh, basically for free um, and basically to anyone. The software, which is easily accessible online, gathers information on facial movements and sounds and then trains itself to predict them while mapping them onto another video, just like Jordan Peele's on Obama, and this one with Jon Snow apologizing for the final season of Game of Thrones. We take the blame. I'm sorry we wrote this in like six days or something. So how is something that seems so benign or even fun capable of threatening democracy? The danger is twofold. One is that it would affect, you know, politician, what politicians say, what happens if the credibility of those statements is called into question because it could be a deep fake or what happens if there is a there, there's one official statement and then there is a, a deep fake that says the opposite and then people start sharing it. But there is also broader systemic risk which has to do with uh, our ability to trust each other and to trust you know, the, the sources of information we, uh, we get. So who's responsible for making sure deep fakes don't end up in the wrong screens? According to Vakari, there's no one simple answer. It's, it has to be a, a coordinated effort. Definitely social media companies and digital media platforms have a big responsibility. We need to demand more accountability and responsibility by uh, politicians. The news media have a responsibility uh, in raising awareness, but also in not doing that in a way that, again, propagates this idea that, you know, we live in a post-truth society and you cannot trust anyone.